Organic or not organic? That is the question. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Organic food is becoming more and more popular as more and more people ask questions about what is in my food? Are there antibiotics in there? Growth hormones? Pesticides? Pesticides, all kinds of stuff. But here's the question. Can we tell if it tastes different? If Does it look different? Hmm. What do our taste buds and our visual experience dictate? It's time to play. Don't panic, but this food may or may not be organic. First up, strawberries. And here they are, the two strawberry groups, each in their own ramekin. Now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna taste these and we're going to put, which we think is the organic, we're going to put our flag, our organic flag mm -hmm. in that one. Mm -hmm. And then at the end, uh, whoever loses is gonna have to drink a shake of all the ingredients that we uh, taste throughout this. Now I do not see any pesticides like emanating off of one ramekin or the other. And I'm there's, a, there's a definite difference in these though. I mean, I'm just gonna say right off the bat, if I had to pick which one was organic, I would say the one in front of me because. Well, this one's smaller and this one's well, wider. I don't know. But you see how like nice that looks right there? You know, they do stuff to, to strawberries to make them look good if they're not organic. So I would expect the ones that are not organic to look better and wow. I feel like that looks better. Mm -hmm. But which one tastes better? Mm. That's good. That's a doozy strawberry. That's a doozy of a strawberry. Oh. Ooh, those pesticides really come through. Not at all. Tastes exactly the same to me. There's a wildly different taste. It's like it's a different fruit. It's not even a strawberry. Are you kidding me? No. The one on the right doesn't taste like a strawberry? One of them tastes like it has nutrients packed more tightly this than the other. This one is not as sweet as this one to me. Do you agree or disagree? I'm not going to give away anything at this point. No, I'm just saying, which one do you think is more sweet? Well, that might give you an answer. One of them feels well, like fine. it has- I'll vote. And then, no, I meant to vote for oh, this one. Oh, come on, you waited, uh, man. I thought I was voting for the non-organic. Okay, so we both put our organic flags in this one. Okay, you guys ready? Yeah. You're both correct. Yeah! yeah. Next up, beef. No hormones, no anna, how does a cow not have hormones? No they remove added hormones. Okay, man. good. Cows gotta have hormones too. And then uh, it's grass fed, so it's not like in a feed lot somewhere, it's it's out and about. Mm. Let's both eat off of the same one at the same time. Eat off of the same one. Did you guys season these? If it doesn't look like there's any salt and pepper on it, it's like, no marinade, we just cook it a cow. And yeah, it's unadulterated. It. Here we go, ready? Taste good? You taste the hormones? I taste a little puberty. Oh gosh. What's the taste of puberty? Put that on your label. Don't. Sticks. I think you misunderstand the whole hormones thing. <laughs> Hold on, you just took a teeny, teeny bite. I don't need a big bite. You know how long it takes me to chew. Oh. And then, going in for this one. There's knowledge in chewing. This one's a lot better. Well, I think it's a fattier cut. I don't know which one's what. That one's a lot better meat. This one's a lot better, organic. Oh, oh. It doesn't taste so what, as good to me. Oh, so what are you trying to say? Organic doesn't taste as good to me. Oh, you're with me then. I just figured that this is a fattier cow, which means it probably has a diet that's actually not right for it, but that actually makes it taste better. Yeah. No moral judgments at this point. I'm just saying, I think this is organic. Hmm. Guys, you're, uh, you're both wrong. Ah! Next up, enchiladas. Definitely, it's some massive differences between these. There's one big enchilada instead of two, two little, little enchiladas. Two little enchiladas and more of like a refried But mass. that doesn't mean anything. Yeah, they're two different brands. Is, I can tell you one thing, I, mean, I want I, to eat it. I taste some of this one at the same time too. It smells like an enchilada. I like it. That's good. I want more of it. Get a little bit of the rice, a little bit of the bean. I kind of just forgot what we were doing. I'm just eating. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I like all that. <laughs> Whenever we're not eating testicles on this show, we tend to just get lost in the pleasure of it. All right, and then we're going for the other. Oh, there's a different consistency here. Uh, it doesn't taste as good, but I don't know. I, I'm immediately gonna say. Spicy though. This is organic, and the reason why is because not only does it taste better, it looks better, it just looks more expensive, and I think when you're willing to pay more for organicness, you're gonna also get with it a better enchilada. Everything about this one tastes better. And last time that meant that it was organic with, with, with the beef. Mm -hmm. But you know what? <clears throat> Sometimes people are like, I'm gonna make this organic, but they forget. They to make forget, it especially good. when they mix it all together, they forget to mix it in the right way. I'm gonna say that that is organic. Let's mix it up a little bit. Link, you're yes. correct. Ah! 
<laughs> Next up, cookies. Now there's nothing I hate worse than, than a cookie. A, than a cookie covered in pesticides. I mean, why even do that? Why you gotta spray pesticides on a cookie? Again, that's not how it works, Link. The cookies are not grown. I think it means that all the ingredients that contributed to this cookie are in, or, organic. <laughs> I forgot the now word. This, this one right here, it's got some dinky chips. This one's got some berry chips. This one feels like it's going to be better, just a better cookie. This is like a homemade cookie right here. I love a good cookie. Oh, oh. That's a nice, nice cookie. You kind of have to taste through the ingredients. Do you? It's not the cookie, it's the things that contributed to the cookie. So I need to think about the chocolate. I need to think about the eggs that contributed to this. Can I? Do I feel like a chicken just running around freely? making these eggs that contributed to this cookie. I'm gonna see if I can taste that. Well, go ahead and taste that one, because then whatever you taste about this one will be accentuated by tasting that one in contrast. Because this right here is a Millie cookie. This is more like our chips are hoy. This is definitely not as good of a cookie. But when you get to sweetness, you would think, oh, you're going with organic on that? Yeah. When you, when you start coming up with like, Guilty pleasure, sweetness, desserts. I don't know though. Organic is not gonna make things as good when you get to stuff that's bad for you. That's a good logic. <laughs> but I don't agree with it. But, but no, no, the... no, no, this is, this one's not as good for you. Yeah, which means this is, this is, this tastes, what's my logic? This tastes better, <laughs> therefore. This is organic. This must be organic. Okay, final answer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Link, you're wrong. <laughs> and now, tortilla chips. May I? You you may. You gonna smell? Mm, very corny. <laughs> Not nearly as corny. Oh come on, no. Yeah. Corny. corny. Not, Not nearly, nearly as corny. corny. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So let's go with these sad excuses for corny smelling things. But maybe sometimes corn mm. too, is too much corn. It's not even real corn. It's like genetically modified super corn. But that's still corn. I mean, it's a good taste. It's not overwhelming. I don't just like it. It, it lets whatever you're dipping be the star, like any good organic food would do. Oh, misleading. <clears throat> For the corny. <clears throat> About to choke on oh. it. This is how I'm gonna go out, guys. Choking on a not organic tortilla chip. <clears throat> Definitely tastes purer. It tastes like somebody just took a cob of corn and pressed it real hard. Mm. Natural. Oh yeah, look at that. Corns don't hold things up. All right, hey, let Rhett. us have it. Brett, you are wrong. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> I knew it. Now let's try baby formula. You know, I was a formula baby. A lot of people don't know that. I believe I was too. It was the time, you know? Sometimes I think about what I could accomplish if I had actually uh, suckled the teeth. But uh, well, let's not get grass. I didn't about have it. the opportunity. Now, th now this is just organic powder that you mix with, I guess, organic milk if you're so inclined. Or is it organic? You think green means organic? That's not how it works, man. All right. <laughs> Dang, you gotta really have some suckle power. And that is some nasty ah! stuff. That is bad. Man, babies got bad taste. I think you mean babies taste bad things because we feed it to them. Have you seen a baby cry over how much they want this? Babies got horrible taste. That's what I'm saying. Babies have no taste. Babies, sometimes you suck. <laughs> Guys, this is horrible. I hope this one's good. You, oh. you think the other one's gonna be good? Babies don't know what's up, man. man. You think organic babies know something better than yeah, non-organic babies? Yeah, like baby pesticide stuff is what makes it taste nasty. Well, it is better. I can't get it to produce. I mean, the level of suction I'm creating in my own mouth you is to, making, you have to massage is making the, the blood nipple. Massage the nipple. come to my... Just pinch on it. There you go. Oh, gosh. This one's less heinous than this, this one. Is, one. This one is over 50% less heinous. Less heinous. So what does that mean? I think it means that it's organic. I think babies you know have what? horrible taste. You know what? Though. They add sugar to this that's non-organic. I'm a thread the nipple. Sugar can be organic but they didn't add that. There we go. I think that you're right about this, Link. I tasted a real woman's breast milk yeah. and it made me want to hurt myself. Right. And so I'm thinking that yep. this one is yep. closest to the real thing. Yep. This is organic. Are we right? 
I think you're both wrong. Oh. <laughs> Next up, cat food. Here's where we stand, though. You're actually up by one at this point. I what can't. What do you mean you're actually up? Yeah, I. <laughs> I mean, I'm Link, believe it or up. not, you're actually up. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm saying you're up at this point, which means I can't win. The best I can hope for is to get this last round right. Mm -hmm. You get it wrong, and then we both share the shake. But it might just be me shaking oh. alone. I take, don't know. Take a double sniff first this time. Oh gosh. Cat's got worse taste than babies. Cat's got worse taste Ooh, than babies. Ooh, that's almost good. What? Yeah, the one on the left is almost good. Like a tuna sandwich. You smell that one and you tell me which one's worse. Yeah, there you Ooh. go. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. It's all about which cat food you sniff first. Yes, I don't want to be friends with a cat that eats the thing on the right. Mm, your breath is nasty. Your left. You know what? Tuna melt, think tuna melt, and then think Meow. worst day ever. So let's eat this one first, so we can wash it down with this. The decisions we have to make on this show. <laughs> I don't think there's gonna be any washing going on. Whoa, that's kind of a meager little. Meager? I'm on, a human, Rhett. man. Come on, Rhett. Okay, let me see what kind of bite you're gonna take. You're gonna match it? No. Oh gosh. You gonna match that? You can't get that down? Okay, challenge accepted. Uh, let's try to swallow it, okay? Okay. Oh, uh, lost a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, a cat will eat it later. Here we go. Yeah, hold on, you know what? It looks just like a pate, yeah, like a fine party. Hey, have you had the pate? It's like chocolate mousse. Now it's mousse? I'm just at a party. This is a great party. The party is so good. This is the most interesting mousse I've ever had at a, <laughs> at a party. They have gone out of their way. The mousse is incredible. Oh! <laughs> it's bad. It's got a metallic taste this to it. This is the worst party I've ever been to. <laughs> Dude, hurry up and get it down because we're only halfway done. That taste, it had a really, it was a bitterness to it. I got it. Uh, cats are stupid. Cats and babies need to just take an exit. Okay. Now this one is more like a tuna melt Sunday afternoon, chilling. This is next weekend's party. Oh, it's another party? Yes, this is at Roger's house. Tuna melt at Roger's. <laughs> I'm still tasting the muse from last weekend. For real? I've been tasting it all week. Dink it. Meow. Mm. Ew. Ew. <laughs> I don't know how to proceed because. Ah! Got it. <laughs> this one it's is a new chapter. Significantly easier to eat, but what does that actually mean? I mean, I think it means that it's. It, that it's organic. There's not. There's something added to that one. Oh, this is what I'm saying. Now you can listen. You can vote with me, and you guarantee yourself a win. Yeah. The only way you can lose is by voting differently than me. I'm going to make the case for why I think this is organic. We've been feeding Barbara some bougie uh, dog food, and I've thought about taking a little bite a couple of times. We got some like Newman's own kind of like in a can, and I open it up. And I'm like, what is this for me? And I just feel like they they just don't care as much in the non-organic world. But if I do this, I'm guaranteed to not have to dr drink the smoothie. That is what is before you, but some people might see it as a cop out. That, I mean, I don't. <laughs> I mean, I, I wouldn't see it as a cop out. Which one do you think is organic? You should go with your gut, man. You think that's organic? Then I think this it. one's organic, but the Linkster doesn't cop out. Oosh. Okay, well then I guess you're both drinking that shake and gonna- oh. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't it. It. <laughs> cop it now. Hey, let me just tell you, as we get ready to eat that shake and good mythical <sighs> more, the conclusion here is organic across the board tasted better. Even for cats and babies who we now hate. <laughs> yes! Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hi, my name is Ricardo. I'm from Costa Rica, and it's time to spew the will of me to tell you. We post videos on Facebook that we don't post anywhere else. That's called Exclusive Baby. Facebook.com slash Rhett and Link. Exclusive Babies. Click through to Good Mythical More. Click that eye. We're going to blend everything together into a punishment smoothie that we both have to drink. <laughs> yeah, Rhett and Link think the camera has stopped rolling. Okay, it's over. Ouch. No Good Mythical More today. So are you going on Friday? Yes. To the, to the meeting. To the Illuminati meeting. Absolutely. I'm gonna be the one and with the ram's head. Right, right. Completely naked. Right, right. You'll recognize me by my birthmark. You know which one, the one that looks like Florida. Right, and I will be, I will be um, the human triangle, their mascot. I, okay. was, I was elected. Yeah, you gotta do that. Uh, I'm elected, yeah. It's, it's the sweatiest, okay. you know, I'll get out in there, but. Uh, but listen, here's what's gonna happen. <laughs> 
Is it a? It's fun. Is it a triangle that's got a middle that I can jump through as the naked ram? Because I'm into that. How do you know that? I've dealt with blenders. <laughs> it stops on its own. It's a, called a pre-programmed setting link. You just oh. hit frozen drink, and then it just makes it for you. Good job, blender. <laughs>